So I just took the snorkel off the airbox because that little hole is restricting airflow. This hole is as big as the throttle body. So they started out with the right idea. But then they put this little thing on it because it looks neat. I had to cut it because it's been in there since 1995. There's a nice big hole right there that I can route my fresh air into. So we cut the restricting snorkel off and what I did is I looked on my shelf and I happened to have some dryer tube that was larger in diameter than the intake tube for my air box. Let's route it down to, see it right there, to a hole that's bigger than this, which is bigger than this, okay? There's gonna be some of you saying all these ripples are going to create too much turbulence. But remember, there's an air filter in here and there's all this tubing, which the air has to go through. So now the smallest restriction is the size of the throttle body. Everything through here is a larger passage than the throttle body. In addition, I'm drawing cold air. It's coming in into the grill around the headlight and in this area here underneath the hood. It's all going in. So it's cold air. It's not hot under hood air. So we're not going to gain any uh, I guess I got mail. So we're not going to gain any track time off of this. But when you're looking to improve the performance of your vehicle, and I'm doing it for gas mileage, you want to look at absolutely everything. And the next thing we'll be looking at is the tires. So for good gas mileage, we have a clean air filter. I actually scrubbed out the box to make sure that there's uh, nothing in there that's going to restrict us right away. Uh, so if you have a mouse living in there, uh, you want to evict your tenants. You want to make sure that you're getting cold air, not hot under hood air. And you want to make sure that your entire intake system is larger than your throttle body. Okay, on to the next. Like and subscribe or I'll set this fella loose in your garage. <laughs>